Hi, hello, my name is Brianna and welcome to my channel. This video is so special to me that I'm about to share with you because I was able to create it while making the most memorable moments with one of my best girlfriends and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and let's get into the video. So me and my girlfriend Kaylin, we decided to have a vision board girls weekend and it was really so needed. We hadn't spent time together in a while and we had so much to catch up on. It was just a time for us to connect and I needed that and I know she did too. So this was actually my first time making a vision board and now that I'm a couple months into 2024, I can already see how doing this in January really set me up to do the things that I aspire to do this year. Even if I feel like I'm moving slowly, things are happening and I'm very proud of myself for being intentional, more so than I suppose I've done in the past. Some of my intentions and goals for this year were things that I've already been doing but also want to improve with a few new things sprinkled in. To start, we can never have enough self-love, so that will always be an intention for me to love myself in the best way that I can. I found that body positivity and affirmations are aligned with this because sometimes I realize that I'm hard on myself and I need to be respectful and loving to myself or I'm never going to be happy with my body. Some affirmations I've included on my vision board are that I am worthy, I am deeply loved, to be kind to myself and to be mindful. Continuing on the path of self-care, I realized last year that I've fallen away from my yoga practice. So I added a person doing yoga on here to remind me that I really need to reconnect to my yoga practice in a way that flows with my daily life balance. Not feeling like I need to do it every single day, just fitting it in where it fits in. Since making the vision board, I have joined a yoga studio and all I can say is yes, I needed this. I am grateful for the community I am now a part of and I'm so thankful to myself for acknowledging that I needed to bring this back into my life and for allowing myself to do it without pressure. I also realized I wanted to move my body in more ways than just my usual gym routine, which has been four days a week, two upper body days, two lower body days. But me and the gym, we've needed a break. I've mentally and physically not been enjoying my workouts. I've allowed myself to move my body in other ways without feeling guilty that I'm not going to the gym and lifting heavy weight like I'm used to. On top of my yoga membership, I decided to join a Pilates studio because me and my girlfriend went to Pilates in Charlotte and I was really inspired, I was really happy, and I was really worked. It's not a membership that I plan to keep. This is a bigger range of motion, like I said, compared to a core exercise. So it should be even slower rest. However, I still want to incorporate things that I've taken away from Pilates into my life in the way that I work out or move my body. And I've also been incorporating floor or mat Pilates at home because I found that it's really just as challenging as reformer Pilates. Post Pilates, hard. I'm worked. It was good. So I'm proud of myself for changing things up a little bit, being okay with the change, and allowing myself to gradually come back to going to the gym and in a way that was appropriate and right for me. So back to my vision board goals. Other things I've included is that I need to journal more. I want to be better with my time management and actively acting on my goals with intention and by setting deadlines. As far as my social life, I want to spend more time with my friends as well as seeing my family more. And while I didn't expect or plan to make new friends, I've actually have gained a couple of friends from work. We've made it off the unit, y'all, and really it just makes work more enjoyable. When it comes to the financial aspect of my vision board, some of the goals and intentions I have for my life is to find a second source of income. While I have worked so hard for my career to become a nurse and I have worked so hard in my career as a nurse, I am just starting to realize that I have to touch it every time I walk past this. <laughs> there needs to be something next. This cannot be the only thing that I do with my life. While I don't exactly know what is next in my career, I know that I eventually would like to transition away from bedside nursing. I give myself a five-year plan to figure it out. So by the time I'm 30, I will be doing something else if it does not happen sooner. I don't wanna have to go back to school. I would love for social media to be that second income for me. 
a reminder that big journeys begin with small steps. Other things I've included on my vision board, I have a high credit score on here as a reminder to maintain this with keys and a sold sign to a beautiful house that I hope to buy within the next couple of years. Reminders to invest and save. As far as my relationship, I just pray we continue to build in a healthy, loving, tender, and supporting way. And I'm very excited for this journey that we're on to see where we'll be while also just enjoying the process. It's just a day at a time and I get to do it with my other half who is sometimes my better half. So we spent one night making a vision board and then the next night we had us a little dessert and drinks outing which was so needed it felt so good to get dressed up do my makeup and have girl talk we started off at spice and had the most delicious strawberry dessert egg rolls that literally tasted like a healthier version of a toaster strudel we shared a sushi roll and then after we finished our drinks we decided to uber over to crave dessert bar where we shared the most delicious slice of strawberry shortcake cheesecake with a couple cute drinks that definitely packed a punch if you know what i mean i had the snickers dessert drink and it came with this mini snickers that i opened up and plopped inside of my drink for a nice snack at the end of sipping it shout out to my best friend's man because he was ever so kind to drop us off and to pick us up so we made it home safely in our girls night out such a pure time like we were young like experiencing life like for the first time as adults Mm -hmm. It was just a good time, you know? It was a very good time. Now we do it a little better, a little classier. <laughs> For real. We've had a wonderful girls night. We're just cackling right now as we change. Yeah. <sighs> we did. You look so cute tonight. I love what you, I love the corset with the top. Lots. Thank you. And once we were home, we had tipsy girl talk, danced around, took off our makeup, chilled, had our pajamas on, and we were home by midnight, which was really perfect. Then it was time for me to go home. So with a wave and a kiss goodbye to my sis, I was off on my way to my handsome man who came downstairs to greet me with hugs and kisses, carried my stuff upstairs, and then just like that, it was time to go back to work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.